Boom! Welcome to the Flying Can Ranch from Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. I was going to do this video yesterday, but things turned up and I didn't make it. So, without further ado, you're going to have to bear with me. I was up at like all around 4 o'clock yesterday morning. Put in a long pie crate. You know, Mom and I went out to dinner. And right before I went to bed, I got called out. Basement flooded. So, put it simple, from about 4.30 or whatever in the morning until right now, I've had no sleep. So, zero. And this building all night long. Wet back. <laughs> Crazy. At any rate, enough about me. Um, what I want to talk about today, and I really want to impress something here that I like this, first of all, because it comes in this nice little box. You know, I really like that. I like that better than a blister pack or bubble pack or whatever they call it. So we're going to open this up. And inside here is... Now, this looks a lot like what I reviewed yesterday, but this is a lot of metal, and it's a blowback version. Now, this is the fully automatic. So, what we're looking at here is a Urex Beretta model M84FS. It's a 177 caliber BB, and they say the feet per second is about 360 feet per second. Uh, the overall, let's see, the, um, the barrel length is, um, I think I just wrote that wrong. Um, I did write that wrong. I know the overall weight is 1.40, and the overall length is 7 inches, and the barrel length is, I'm guessing, about 4.3 inches. So... We're going to take a quick tour. Now, I'm to understand I haven't tried it yet. This is actually field strippable. So, everything on this is kind of like the real Bubba. You have an ambidextrous. Well, let's start at the bottom here. You've got this uh, plastic grip. And there's your little CO2 thing. A little bit of distraction, but not bad. And uh, uh, the sights are fixed. I actually put that little white dot on the end of this one to help find the target better. You have a um, a uh, ambidextrous safety that is on both sides. You can um, push it back, lock it, let it go, get it cocked and ready. That was interesting. Indeed. So that being said, get that out of there. Um, I like this gun. It's it's very light and it fits in the hand. Brock, get away from there. Um, it fits well. You know, you can come in with it real good. And I picked this one up, brand new, in the box, and I like the box, as I said. Um, we push a little button here, right here on the side. What are you looking for, Brock? I don't have your toy. There is your magazine. So your CO2 will... Do I have a dummy one? I don't know if I do have one. Yes, I do. So, you're going to crank this down. You're going to drop your CO2 in. Again, keep it pinched with your thumb a little bit. Press it down in there. Turn that until it punctures. And you're good to go. To load the BBs themselves, this is a little tricky to do, but bring it all the way down. And then push it off in that direction. It should lock. And you're going to put your BBs in to this port. Now, I bought two kinds of BBs with me. I bought the, the Umarex Steels. And then I have some um, 
some black diamonds and we're gonna try them both yesterday I wasn't having much luck with the black diamonds whatsoever so um, and that's how the whole thing works and then of course you can just you just pop your mag back in you slide to slide or actually I think you can just pull the hammer back and they'll shoot what are you doing where's your toy <laughs> Right there, go get your toy. I don't have your toy, Brock. I got a fragment of what used to be a toy. Dog is crazy. But we're gonna put together a shooting video. Um, this appears to be like a metal trigger. Looks quite realistic. Now I've had some of these Berettas in the past. I think I had a Daisy one or something, a, a Mako. Um, I got it to work, but the blowback wouldn't work after that. I don't remember what I did. One of my readers asked me, I said, man, I don't remember. I, I tore it apart and eliminated something on it, and, but it worked. So, but we'll put together a shooting review and uh, hang some targets up. We're gonna see what this thing does and have a little fun. Then after that, that's where I'm gonna go. Thought I put this out real quick. So, that's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. I'm going to be right back with you in just a little bit. <laughs> 